Hello viewers, here is an AT&T 100 telephone. This is a corded telephone. This is from 12-21-1995 and the full model number is 2500DMGF and it says 1BK which is kind of weird because this is not a black model, it's the tan model it's got this other thing on here. Get back that line. I don't know what that is. Probably something specific to the phone service this was used on. So this is a basic phone with a couple of extra features. It has tone and pulse dialing. It has a one number redial. Mute. And uh, it's the piezo ringer with two volume settings as well as off. This is not the correct cord. You should have a tan colored cord. Although this actually appears to be looks like an AT&T cord to me. But it's definitely not the original. This also came with one of these uh, clear or once, what once was a clear cord and now has clouded up and is becoming sticky. I had one of these many, many years ago. I still have it somewhere. Uh, I picked this up at the VNA sale. And it was only a couple dollars, so I figured why not. It's a nice model. I like it. Uh, my aunt and uncle gave me one of these way back in the day. It was... I had it at the, at the location before the old location. So it had to have been at least in the 2000s. Probably mid to late 2000s, somewhere in there. And uh, I remember finding it in a one of their closets. I don't know why I was perusing through the closets. I guess that's just the stuff I did back then. And I remember asking her if I could have it, and she said sure. So um, I took it home and I used it in my bedroom for many years. Because at the time I didn't have a lot of telephones, so to get another telephone was was quite a feat. So I had used this for many years at the old, old location. And then I continued to use it on and off over the last 10 or 12 years at the previous location. So that the one that I had has definitely appeared in videos before. I'm not sure if it was a... I've ever done a dedicated video of it, but it had definitely appeared in videos here and there. Oh, it's just it's a good telephone, you know. I like the ringer on it, I like the form factor. It's nice to have a couple extra features. Sound is good, ergonomics are good. It's a classic telephone. Looks great on any desk, any table. Not sure what that would have been. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. And we'll start by calling it up. Ringer sounds good and strong. That's much louder than I remember it. I'm not even sure if it's the same ring as the other one. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, that's high. That's low. That ringer is such an icon of the 80s and the 90s and even into the 2000s. You can hear that ringer in just about every household across the country between these telephones and the, um, the trimline telephones, which also became very popular at that time. Alright, let's go over to our outside line. 
And let's see if we have any dialing tones. Seem to. There's no volume control, it's just the standard volume level. Tones sound a little weird, but they seem to have worked. Thank you for your call. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, July 11th. 817. Current temperature 81 degrees. Mostly clear sky through Wednesday. The sound is pretty clear. It seems to work fine on the on the incoming side. Let's go back over to the internal line. I'm gonna call it again, I'll make sure it grabs the line. It grabbed the line and it is connected. Okay, now I will record some messages with it to make sure that the transmit side is working properly as well. Six new messages. Message one. There's definitely something wonky about the tones on this telephone because they are obnoxiously loud for a telephone that's designed such that you would typically have the handset at your ear while dialing the numbers. I'm also observing that the side tone is very hot on this phone, which I personally like, but that's not the way I remember the other one. Perhaps this is how it's supposed to be, and maybe the other one was just wearing out. I don't know. I don't think that the other one could have been used for all that long because if this is a model from the 90s, I don't know how long these were in production, but this one is from 1995, so we'll say it couldn't have been in service for maybe 10, 12 years before it was put into the closet and then I took it, or maybe it was put in the closet years before I found it. I have no idea. So. I tend to think the other one probably is low hours, which now I'm thinking about it. Well, no, it wouldn't matter because I was going to say, it seems like when the telephone sit for a while, they start having problems, but it wasn't sitting, at least not because I was using it pretty consistently over the years. So, I mean, it could have been sitting for years before I got to it, but I guess probably isn't as many low hours as I thought. Anyways, that's starting to get kind of confusing. Over. Message two. Yes! Message three. Hello, this is Bill. I was wondering if you could come over this afternoon to help me clean up my electrical panel because the skunks were out last night and they sprayed it again and it stinks. Call me to my home phone, 555-1234. Message four. Snout check, one, two, three. Nope, my nose is working. Message five. Oh, I can't believe how high the white bill's gonna be this month because we're having uh, conditioners running all the time because it's been so humid. Message six. Did you see that skunk last night? I think it sprayed some of the new patio furniture. For heaven's sakes. End of messages. Alright, it seems to be working. It's fun doing these phone videos again. It's been... It's been a long hiatus from uh, conventional content, but I'm finally getting getting back to it. So we've got to clean this one up. It's kind of grungy. Should clean up pretty easy though. And get some of that sticker stuff off of here, and there's some sticker residue on the side too. But uh, should come out pretty good.